Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there today. Uh, one of the things that has come up quite a bit uh, since I've started doing these Docker container videos, uh, whether it was for x86 or for Raspberry Pi, uh, is something called Mac VLAN. And basically what that does is it allows each of your containers to have an IP address that's given to it by your home's router. Uh, this kind of helps alleviate things like uh, different applications both needing the same port and things like that, uh, because instead of having everything be on your server's IP address and then a port attached to it, uh, you can give each of your applications its own specific IP address, or I won't say specific necessarily, but each of your uh, each of your containers can have its own IP address uh, that you can access it with. So honestly, I fought with this for a while. I just didn't get it. It didn't make sense. And then the other day, uh, I had an epiphany and I tried it and it worked. So I want to show you guys how I set up a Mac VLAN on my Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's jump over here to my desktop uh, where we can actually see a uh, portainer put out an article in 2018. It was actually September of 2018 where they talk about how to do this. Uh, it's actually kind of a, a two, two, two step process. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that right now. Uh, there are some things that you need to know going into this, like what is your IP address uh, configuration look like? And what I mean is, uh, let's do, let's open up our command prompt. Okay, so here we are with our command prompt open. Uh, what we're gonna do is do IP config. And what that's gonna do is show us our IP address. <clears throat> There's some more information in here, but really all we're focused on uh, is this 192.168.68.242. Also the 68.1, we're gonna need that as well. Uh, but but the primary thing that we're looking for here is uh, a lot of people have a dot zero or a dot one right here. Uh, mine's dot six eight, so we need to keep that in mind when we move forward. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Portainer. Uh, this is Hal, this is our little Raspberry Pi server that we've been working on uh, for the past few weeks. We're just gonna go over here to networks and we're going to click on add a network. And here below that, you can actually see all of the different networks that have been created by different applications just because. So we're gonna click on add a network. We're gonna call this, um, I'm gonna call mine Mac uh, config. I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna select Mac VLAN right here. Uh, the parent network card. Now we're gonna get, there's a couple of ways you can get this. Um, they give a little command up here that you can run. Uh, it, for me, it's just easier to come over here to open Media Vault, you know, where we started all of this, go to network, go to interfaces, and right here, this device, this is what we're looking for. Mine is ETH zero, um, but if I do something like this, um, oops, let's go to networks. Nope, darn it, I meant to do 81. Man, I've not had enough coffee, I apologize, guys. Oops, uh, let's do admin there. Uh, let's go into network here at interfaces. See, like this one is ENP2SO. Um, so make sure you double check that. It, it won't necessarily be, um, you know, ETH zero, but that's what it happens to be uh, for HAL here. So we're going to come back over here to Portainer. Uh, we're going to type in uh, ETH zero. It's not a capital O, it is a zero. Uh, so our IP or our subnet here, uh, if we actually come back over here and look, we can kind of see it. Oops, what they've done in here. Let me zoom in a little bit there. Oops, not quite that much, uh, about right there. Okay, so 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Um, now I've never been good with IP addresses, so we're gonna talk about that a little bit, but I know it's gonna be 192.168, oops, dot six eight, darn it, six eight dot, um, I'll, I'll say uh, zero, that's fine. Um, so that's gonna be kind of its starting point. We should actually probably do like, well, let's do zero. I'm pretty sure that that's what they had there. Yeah, so, and then after that, you'll see the slash 24. And uh, if you're not sure about those slashes, that's what's always confused me. Uh, basically, that's how many IP addresses you're going to allot uh, based on this prefix, the slash whatever. It starts at zero, um, which gives a huge amount of available IP addresses. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna come up here. Uh, slash 24 is kind of the basic. That's where your home router is gonna live comfortably. Uh, that gives you like 192.168.1.1 or actually 1.0 all the way to 255. So you get a total of 256 possible IP addresses here. Now, the reality is you're probably not going to have 256 uh, applications running on your uh, on your server, on your Docker container or your Docker server that's each going to need its own IP address. So uh, we could probably actually come up here to like slash 28. That's gonna give us a range of 16 IP addresses. So I would say stick between like 25 and 28, kind of somewhere in there. You should be just fine. I'm actually gonna go 26. 
Uh, so I'm going to come back over here, uh, right there. So I'm going to do 0 slash 26, and that will give us uh, up to 64 IP addresses available for our, uh, for our network to, to pull from. Now the next thing we need to do, oops, let's come back over to here. Uh, we need to have an IP range. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that again. We're going to do something kind of like this. Uh, but we're going to start this. Or I'm just going to put in 80 like they did, uh, and that'll be fine. Um, and then our gateway, that's going to be uh, our router, like so. Um, and, and that's basically all we need to put in here. Um, and that, that's just going to say, hey, go, go, go talk to the router to get your IP address. Um, so what we can do then is uh, come down here, click on uh, Create the Network. And then we're going to add another network. I know this kind of seems weird. This is what confused me. So I'm going to call this um, my uh, Mac VLAN. The driver, again, is going to be Mac VLAN. This time we're going to click over here on Creation. I want to create my network from a configuration. So we're going to select down here. We're going to go to Mac Config. That's the one we just created. And the other thing we want to do is make sure that we enable manual container attachment. So we go ahead and do that and then click on Create the Network. Uh, so now when we when we go back over, what we're going to do is we're going to switch one of our networks to my Mac VLAN. So what we'll do is we'll come over to a uh, container here, and let's actually take a well. Let's let's see. Let's go to Pihole. Uh, let's let's take a look at Pihole. The first thing we want to do here uh, is is uh, click on the console right here. So we'll click on Connect, and we're going to just say if config. Okay, command not found. So we need to run a command. We need, to in, we need to install net tools, but before we do that, we need to do um, apt update. Yeah, like so. Uh, so we're going to let that think for a minute. All right, so there are some, uh, some things that can be upgraded. We're, that's not what we're here for right now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do apt uh, install uh, net tools, like so, and then that should give us uh, some information. Now it's gone ahead and done that. Now look, if you don't do the apt update first, the, the apt install net tools will most likely fail. That's why I did apt update first. I, I've just, I've, that's the way I've always had better luck doing that. So if we do if uh, config, uh, right here we can see that the IP address is 172.17.0.4. Uh, now again, we can access it uh, by going over to um, port 83 at hell.local. Um, because it kind of, the, the system forwards everything through there. So what we're going to do is we're going to close that. We're going to come over here to Pi Hole. We're going to duplicate and edit. Then we're going to scroll down to the network. We're going to go to My Mac VLAN, and we're going to say Deploy the Container. And here we can see the progress bar going, going, going. Uh, and there we go. So now, if we... Uh, find our pie hole right here. You'll notice now we don't have any ports right here. None of those ports are showing up. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at the logs. Uh, everything there is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back here to this console. I'm going to click connect and I'm going to do uh, if config. Okay, so we're going to have to do that again. So sudo apt. Uh, I don't uh, sudo apt update. I didn't need to do the sudo there, but I did it anyway out of habit. We'll do uh, apt install net tools. We'll give that a second to think. And then we can say if config. Right here, we've got 192.168.68.2. So let's type that. Let's actually just copy and paste that then. Copy, paste. And again, we're going to say port 83 because I didn't change the ports. I still left it on port 83. All right, so let's come back to here. Okay, so there was a little glitch in there. Uh, I screwed up. We're going to kind of edit some of this out. But uh, so basically what I did was I went back in, did ifconfig uh, to get the IP address of 192.168.68.2. I'm going to copy that. Just, oops, oh, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. It was already copied. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to say slash admin, just like that. And now we've got uh, 192.168.68.2 as our IP address for that container. And in fact, if we go over to here, this, we're going to log into our router right here. And we're going to go ahead and log in. And then I, I hate Linksys and their new, every, they want everybody to use the app for everything. It's dumb. I hate it. I have uh, written them nasty emails expressing my dis, 
my distaste for it. Uh, so we're gonna let this load up for just a second. I just feel like it's an unnecessary step in there. So now we're gonna go to device list um, and then we're gonna scroll down nearly to the bottom. All right, so I already had something on there that was uh, 6.8.2, but here you can see uh, that is, uh, well, that's not correct anymore. I'm gonna change that to pie hole. I already had something else uh, on there when I was doing some testing that was dot two. Um, so I just changed it. So basically what happens when you set up a Mac VLAN? Uh, so it's, it's Mac address virtual uh, local area network is kind of what that breaks out to be. So what happens is your Mac VLAN, uh, when you attach a new container to it, generates a Mac address and of course each um, each of your uh, devices out there, every piece of hardware out there um, has a Mac address to it. That's like its individual fingerprint. So what happens is Mac VLAN gives a virtual Mac address to each of these different containers that your, uh, that your router will recognize as a different device. So every time you add a new container to your Mac VLAN, it's going to get something that looks very similar to this, but each one will be different so that, the, so that your router can tell a one container or what it thinks is an actual uh, completely separate device. Uh, each container will get its own Mac address, which in turn will give it its own IP address that you can access on the network. So you may have to do some playing around as far as ports are concerned and that sort of thing. The, the little glitch that I had earlier uh, when I did that, in fact, maybe now I'll even leave it in, is that uh, when I switched the Pi hole over to the Mac VLAN, it actually went back to port 80. Uh, that was the port that it wanted to use uh, from the beginning. We took away its need for those ports. So it just used what it had available, uh, which was port 80. So uh, that's kind of the, the high level overview on how Mac VLAN works and communicates with your router to give each of the containers you put on that network its own specific MAC address and its own specific IP address. Now, if you wanted to, you could go a step further here uh, in your router, and I'm not gonna show it here, um, but in your router, you could then assign, uh, you could dedicate that IP address to that MAC address so that each of your containers would have a dedicated IP address. So I hope, I hope that makes sense. Uh, and I'm sure there's other ways that you can uh, give uh, one of your containers a dedicated IP. That's just how I would do it. Um, and I know that it works that way. So uh, I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, uh, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. I will have some resources linked in the description uh, where you can go and check out more information uh, where I'll have the, the tutorial that I found on Portainer's website, as well as the little chart for the slash 2432, whatever, for the IP addresses. So uh, while you're down there, if you want to check out a couple of the sponsor or the support links, that would be amazing. Uh, one is for coffee. That's like a one-time tip jar. The other is Patreon. We're all familiar with Patreon. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my patrons for helping me out month after month. If you're not a patron, but you'd like to be one, uh, there will be a link in the description down below where you can check that out and become a patron at whatever level fits you best. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.